People don't want to be forced into taking a vaccine. Why is this such a problem for you? This is why I'm a daycare provider. Because there's a lot of people who are unfortunately very dumb, right? And you just got to do the building blocks time and time again. Now, when we live, uh, originally human beings used to dwell inside of caves, okay? And then there were some technological achievements there. And ultimately, we decided to uh, create hunter-gatherer societies and uh, basically formed a societal formation, uh, oftentimes near a body of water, okay? Now, when we actively started participating alongside one another in what is known as these societal formations, there were certain rules and regulations that were put in place. Now, the reason why we put those rules and regulations in place was so that we could collaborate with one another, okay? And be able to have, uh, be able to pursue fruitful endeavors, be able to fucking, you know, uh, defeat nature if necessary, all that sort of stuff. Now, one of those problems when you live alongside many other individuals is disease. It spreads through, and this is, again, man fighting against nature. Uh, disease spreads, uh, happens to spread through in a lot of urban environments and uh, rip uh, society apart. Okay, how, do, how can it happen? Well, one, it can kill people. Okay, and that's not kind of great. That's kind of not great. It's like a part of the human condition to want to survive. Okay, two, what it can do, because we all live side by side with one another and we have a finite amount of resources, it's not infinite, is uh, it can crowd hospitals, right? So hospitals, for those of you who don't know, are places that you go to when you have like a sickness or an illness or a disease and then there are professionals there that went to school for a very long time that treat you, okay? They, they go there and they, they figure out what's wrong with you and then they help you out. So when those hospitals are exhausted as a consequence of many people getting the big sick, okay, and having to go to the hospital, you can't get that medical treatment that would allow you to survive and thrive if you have another medical emergency. Now. That's a big problem, okay? That's a really big problem. So luckily, a lot of these scientists who, you know, aren't just uh, writing numbers on a board for show, they actually do some sort of scientific equation with that stuff, and they, they, they are much smarter than you and myself. A lot of those guys have gotten together and collaborated on figuring out what is known as a vaccine. A vaccine is a quick shot that you take, okay, that basically makes uh, a little bit of a boo-boo when you originally take it, but uh, ultimately allows you to uh, survive some of the worst symptoms of COVID, which has uh, killed 700,000 people in the United States of America since it started ripping through the land, okay? So when you avoid the big sick by getting a vaccine, you also avoid exhausting the hospital system. And you protect yourself. I hope that was, uh, I hope that was good and helpful for you. There you go. Since you are too stupid to understand why everyone needs to get vaccinated, I will break it down for you all the way from the top of how like societies were formed. I'm very evident throughout all this is how differently cities across California are handled. Only 2% kill rate, not accounting for age bias. Yeah, dude, you literally made that up. And because, Hey, here's why division of labor is good. Because tit underscore meat is a baboon, okay? A baboon that does not rec recognize how massive a 2% kill rate is, okay? Uh, especially when you consider the entire uh, planet's population. But he's also a baboon who says stuff like, oh, not accounting for age bias. COVID-19, which is the name of this disease, has been the number one killer of all people in the United States of America between the ages of 34 and 55 for the past two months, okay? It's the number one killer. You can try to play around that number, try to massage it as best as you can, say that only old people eat shit and die or whatever, but the hospitals are still being exhausted as a consequence of people refusing to take the vaccine, and uh, that's not good, okay? But thank God uh, dummies like this are not in charge of anything. And it's scientists that actually do know. What's up? Meanwhile, all across the country, high-profile doctors, physicians who went to medical school are persuading people not to get the COVID vaccine. 
to ignore health measures like wearing masks. You're about to hear exclusively from one doctor who makes frightening statements about COVID and the vaccine that are wrong. But we think it's important for the public to hear his beliefs together with the truth because he and other high-profile physicians who deny the facts collectively reach millions of Americans. While the vast majority realize it's BS, a dangerous number of people believe the lies. Here's CNN senior investigative correspondent Drew Griffin. Dr. Rashid Batar at one time had more than a million followers and is considered one of the top spreaders of disinformation about COVID-19. More people are dying from the COVID vaccine than from COVID. That is not true. Neither is his tweet that the Red Cross won't accept blood from people. What? Bro, the funniest thing is they just like make up the easiest, e easily disproven things like, like the magnet one. The amount of misinformation that these motherfuckers are able to successfully spread is kind of funny, but also incredibly sad because there are so many doo-doo brain dipshits out there who literally are just like, oh, that's right, brother. I heard that as real. It's like, dude, like it's the dumbest way to lie about this, dude. Like the COVID vaccine makes you infertile and stuff like that. Like those are at least a little bit more uh, realistic. You know what I mean? Or it gives you autism or gives you the shakes or whatever. Like those are at least more believable. This straight up is like no nah, it's killing people okay where are they then idiot people who have had the covid 19 vaccine he posted most who took covid vaccines will be dead by 2025 but his biggest whopper is the overarching conspiracy theory that covid was a planned operation which was politically motivated as part of a secret global plot to depopulate the earth you believe the pandemic was planned i do okay how does this guy still have a doctorate like, is there no, like, medical review board in America? Like, what are we doing, bro? Like, I just don't understand how, like, there are no precautionary measures for who are just straight up, like, if he's a PhD, I'm going to lose my mind for CNN making this, uh, making it seem like he has an MD. Okay, but you don't know by whom. I have no idea. And you don't know why. Well, I, th I suspect that there's the research that's coming now that would indicate that it's probably something to reduce the population or, or minimize reproduction rates. It would be laughable if it wasn't so dangerous. Batar compares COVID and the vaccine to World War II and Dr. Anthony Fauci to Adolf Hitler. Fauci is a criminal. You talk about Hitler? Okay, well. Whoever Dr. Fauci is in your mind, he is a government bureaucrat and you are comparing him to Hitler. Well, I mean, to Nazis, I, I am who killed six million Jews. I think this is good. this number is going to be higher. You think Dr. Fauci is involved in some kind of plot to kill millions of people? I just want to Drew, make sure I'm, I understand again, this. Again, Drew, I'm a reasonable person. You are asking me what I think, and I said it could be this, but I can tell you that Dr. Fauci is not an innocent bystander. He is very well aware of what he's doing. And the extent of it and his involvement, I don't know. I'm not privy to that information. As atrocious as Dr. Batar's fake conclusions and conspiracy theories are, he is just one of the doctors spreading... Motherfuckers, <laughs> I'm a reasonable person. <laughs> he believes that COVID was created to kill people, but also against the people shouldn't take precautions against a virus designed to kill people. Dangerous COVID disinformation to millions of people across social media, according to the Center for Countering Digital Hate. Let's be absolutely clear. Lies cost lives in a pandemic. If you're encouraging people not to vaccinate, you will cause people to lose their lives. Batar is encouraging people- you See that? The vaccine made him British. To distrust life-saving vaccines. And like other disinformers, he is using false, twisted information and unproven conspiracies to do it. Do you think the COVID vaccine works? I think that the COVID vaccine is very effective at what it was designed for, perhaps, but it's not preventing death, certainly not. It's not preventing death? No. Even faced with indisputable facts, Buttar doubles down on his belief that life-saving vaccines are more dangerous than the virus itself. People don't die from COVID. You've already seen the data. So why are we getting a vaccine that causes more deaths than the problem itself? 6.34 billion doses of this vaccine have been given. If you're right, those people are all going to die. I mean, people too. be dropping dead all around this hotel. It's not orchestrated to do that. Each it's vaccine, not orchestrated to do that. Each vaccine has been geared up 
So you can look at the ingredients of the vaccines themselves. It's all been published. Complete the sentence. Each vaccine has been geared up for what? Well, the, Where there's each, a time each vaccine is Each vaccine is designed, it appears to be different. I don't know the details because I'm not a vaccine developer. Sign Wait, then why are you, what? Bro, this guy's not even good. Has no one ever asked him questions before? Like, the journalist is not even, like, trying hard to own him. Like, bitch, why don't you exercise your right to shut the fuck up earlier? He's like, I don't know, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Scientific corruption. Because of his disinformation, Batar has been removed from Facebook and Instagram, but he's still going strong on Twitter, Telegram, and his own website, all filled with falsehoods. On September 5th, you retweeted a photo of an AstraZeneca packaging that seems to indicate the vaccine was made in 2018. That picture that you retweeted was a doctored photo. It was fake. Perhaps it was fake, but- Why would you do that? So Drew, let me ask you something. You're saying it's not reasonable to question the same agencies that have resulted in numerous deaths, i.e. the FDA. It's reasonable to ask questions. Uh, what I don't understand is how you get from your asking questions to your belief. You had 1.2 million followers at one point. Yes. They got false information. Jail. Straight up. Also jail. Freedom of speech. Jail. Literally, just jail. Um, why can't I ask questions? Like, shut the fuck up, dude. Oh my god, dude. I, debate lords should automatically go to jail until I say otherwise. In a perfect society, I would literally throw everyone that wants to debate in jail until I decide that they're okay to, and they're fine. Just curious, Andy's to the wall, straight to the wall, dude. Like, wh what is this? What is, you're not just curious. You're, you're not. How does this work? How does anyone hear this piece of shit and go, yeah, he's just curious. I agree with him. From you, not, not correct or challenging medical information. They got a a doctored photo if i sent a tweet out of a picture that was doctored and i didn't know about it i'm not perfect maybe i did make that mistake but i cannot make mistakes on the numbers the very latest vaccine studies show they remain 90 percent effective in preventing hospitalization and death batar tells his followers it is the vaccine that is the danger we already see thousands of people dying. This Delta variant is all vaccine injury. I mean, the, the CDC's own data is showing that now. That's just not true. I don't want to be part of this mass genocide that I see happening. And I think that what's going on right now will be remembered as a worst time in history compared to what war. Whenever I see shit like this, I'm just like, dude, Dude, sometimes you have such a thick skull. How can you say that the vaccine is harmless? You sit inside behind your desk all day, never going outside in fear. I have a friend whose cousin's friend has swollen balls and is inpatient. The information is out there and you're being willfully ignorant. Listen, at least I'm not being willfully ignorant at the top of the hour ad break, okay? That's right, because at the top of the hour, there's a 60 second ad break. Comes, you know, at the top of every hour. Now, of course, if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do that for $5 or you can do that for free if you have a Twitch Prime. Um, Twitch Prime is free, of course, if you have an Amazon Prime account that is connected to your Twitch account. Guy is still a licensed physician, according to Wikipedia. He's known for using... Dude, not only would I throw this guy in jail immediately, I would throw the doctors that have not or have reviewed his license and not revoked it. I would throw those guys in jail, too. Straight up. Anyway, um, but uh, speaking of throwing things in jail, you can throw the ad break in jail. By connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account to get one free Prime subscription a month, here's the one minute ad break now. War to happen. I just want to be straight with you. I think you're crazy. <laughs> Before COVID, North Carolina's Board what? of Medicine reprimanded Batar twice for the way he... I just want to be straight with you. I think you're crazy. I love that. That was great was treating autism and cancer patients. The board accused him of charging exorbitant fees for his ineffectual therapies, which he denied, including injecting a patient with hydrogen peroxide. The FDA also sent him a warning letter over products he made and sold that promised to do everything from treating chronic pain to improving sex drive. And yet I have an unrestricted license to practice for 30 years. And that's insane, dude. Throw the whole system in f this world, dude. I'm done. Nope. Nope. It's too much for me, dude. Nope. Nope. Nopers.
it sucks. This sucks so bad. And then we wonder like, oh, why are our parents so brain dead, dude? Throw the whole system in the garbage, dude. I spit on this. I spit on the board of, of uh, doctors that have not revoked this person's like license numerous years ago when he was like, I don't know, making like autistic children eat horny goat weed or whatever he was doing for $100,000. So up. And that is the problem. Dr. Rashid Batar repeatedly lies and disinforms on matters of public health. Yet that doesn't have an impact on his medical license held in North Carolina. Lions, not sheep! Across the country, COVID-19 has created a subculture of disinformation among medical outcasts. And state medical boards don't know what to do. Those kinds of comments are very troubling. I also think you have a duty to inform people if any of these if you were the one giving out like vaccines and any of these actually are uh, getting the vaccine, you have to inform people. You have a duty to inform the public straight up. Be like, this, this piece of shit got vaccinated. Uh, to doctors who are on the front lines and managing COVID, uh, they're particularly frustrating. In fact, some of my colleagues are livid. CNN contacted medical boards in all 50 states. Half of them responded. Only two, Rhode Island and Oregon, said they had actually disciplined doctors for coronavirus misinformation or related violations. That is despite hundreds of complaints. The Federation of State Medical Boards issued a warning to physicians who generate and spread COVID-19 vaccine misinformation or disinformation that they are risking disciplinary action, including the suspension or revocation of their medical license. Especially in a pandemic, um, your actions could lead to the deaths of thousands of individuals because people trust what doctors say. Batar doesn't seem uh -huh. to care. You had an outsized influence over just somebody who's living down the street in terms of people getting their medical advice. You Absolutely. have to admit that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I did. And you are raising doubt about a vaccine. I hope I am because I hope more people take heed of the warning that is necessary. And if you are wrong and they die because of that, I am confident, more than confident, in my ability to have looked at the data and observe what's going on. Bro, you're a doctor and you got owned by a CNN, Clinton News Network, fake news media journalist, like 11 times during an eight minute interview, okay? But for that, or, for that reason alone, like this guy has zero medical qualifications. You have some, doesn't matter if he's a DO, shut up. If you get owned by like a CNN guy, okay, in your like supposed realm, then jail, jail, jail for that too. I just want him to go to jail, I really do. I think it would be poggers, okay? And that if I'm wrong, so be it, because I have to look at myself in the mirror every night when I go to bed and every morning when I get up. And I don't. I, he, he has to be aware of what he's doing, dude. There's no shot. What do we think, boys? Do we think he knows and is doing it regardless? Or do we think that he is unaware and he's just like the dumbest person on the planet? Straight demon, right? I think he knows. Because like, <clears throat> every time he's faced with one of his lies, he's like, Duh, well, I'm just asking questions. I want to sew this dude's mouth shut like in the Matrix. You know what I mean? That's his punishment. Don't lose any sleep, Drew. Like in the Matrix, I'm saying, in the video game Matrix. Drew Griffin joins us now. I, I mean, I don't even know what to, where to begin with this guy, but how I, I'm stunned that he still has a license and that, you know, I mean, I, I know medical boards protect doc, doctors, you know, like to protect each other and stuff, and it's very hard to get a, a, a doctor, uh, have him lose his license. But I mean, this is just incredible, Why? the stuff that this guy is saying. And it's just, I mean, is he making a lot of money doing this? This is how he makes money. He also has lots of patients who, quite frankly, have nowhere else to go, so they turn to him. He sells hope, hope that he mostly cannot deliver on. The medical boards are really geared towards the last century. Uh, they are not geared up for this kind of disinformation online. They're geared for a patient going to see a doctor who is... But, dude, there used to be snake oil salesmen back in the day, too. Like, it's not new. Like, what do you mean this is geared towards the last century? Like, there was some shit like that. This, this past century had that.
uh, you know, treated badly, and then there's basically a lawsuit that comes out the other end. This guy is disinforming patients he doesn't even know or meet, and that is the problem. People sitting at home on the Internet believing that this guy, who very much reminds me, Anderson, of that pillow guy who's looking at basic facts and so misinterpreting them that it's hard to believe, but he is doing it in such a way that he's telling these people and convincing them not to get a life-saving vaccine. My man's a pillow guy. <laughs> it is really troubling. I, you know, I was reading the fine print on the what he was accused of before in some of his practice. I actually did a, a piece a long years ago, 60 Minutes, about another guy who was doing the same sorts of, of, uh, of treatments that show, show no efficacy. Uh, it's stunning that this guy's just still out there and still, you know, saying what he's saying. Drew, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. Republicans on Capitol Hill. Okay. It's very likely that he's going to lose his medical license or has been told he will lose it for cutting his losses. I just, I, I want him to go to jail. Like, I don't think that's insane for me to, to assume. Like, I wish he would go to jail. I really do think that some of these have to see repercussions. For the record, I think that isn't it dangerous and irresponsible platform these types of psychopaths? Shouldn't we just ignore them? We can't. You can't just ignore them. You need to deplatform them. And maybe even make an example out of them too, to a certain, to a certain degree. Every day that goes by, I, I find myself becoming more and more authoritarian. I swear to God. It's just, I have no time. I, I have no time for these kinds of shenanigans, dude. People are dying. Um, Brian Laundry. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>